The She's Crafty Podcast is sponsored by Barbaco Apparel. Barbaco Apparel is a San Antonio-based independent clothing line that caters to Texans and Texans at heart. To buy your Barbaco Apparel and to find out which events they'll be at next, go to barbacoapparel.com. This episode of the She's Crafty podcast is brought to you by RGD Designs, helping keep our beer nuts crafty through graphic design, tech tutorials, and more. Head on over to rgddesigns.com and tell them you heard about them from She's Crafty. You're listening to the She's Crafty podcast, a comedy and craft beer podcast taped in San Antonio, Texas, home of the Alamo, breakfast tacos, and the best craft beer in the Lone Star State. Shut up and sit down. Okay. Let Jackie take over. Hi. We're on the loudspeaker, just so you know. So oh. whatever you say, everyone, will everyone hear. can hear you. So you mean I can't talk bad about our beer tender? Hi, Blessed Sandal. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. What's up? Hi. My name is Catherine. I'm the co-host of a podcast called the She's Crafty Podcast. It's a comedy and craft beer podcast that tapes right here in San Antonio. Uh, we're here tonight to, with Girls Pine Out to play a little Cards Against Humanity. I'm super excited about it. I'm also recording a live episode tonight that will be available for download in a couple of weeks on our website, She's Crafty Podcast.com and iTunes. Um, so anytime anybody wants to come up and have a little chitty chat with me, feel free, because we want to we wanna talk. That's why I'm here. Otherwise, it's just dead air, and that's not as good. Um, Okay, so I'm here with Tracy from Girls Pine Out, and your name was? Jackie. Jackie. Member of Girls Pine Out. Member of Girls Pine Out. Yes, yes. Nice. How long have you been a member? Well, I've drank with them three years ago, so I guess three three years. years. Jackie's been a member longer than I've been running it. Really? (laughs) Oh, nice. I'm OG. Nice. I didn't even know it was OG, but I'm OG now. I I can tell. You're a pretty gangster. I can tell. (laughs) So, Tracy, tell us what Girls Pine Out is, first of all. So, we are a community, well, we are a nonprofit okay. nationwide organization that promotes the education and the love of craft beer to women. Perfect. Absolutely. Um, What's it better is, than that? There's nothing, nothing better than that. It's an industry that men are pretty much Dominate. at the top of. Right. And so, we right. just try to make sure that women at least know what they're drinking, know that good beer is an option. Brandy and I, whenever we go to breweries, we like to leave like a pack of tampons in the bathroom (laughs) just so they know that we were there. They know know that that it was occupied by females for a few minutes. Exactly. Do you have tampons labeled with She's Crafty? No, but you are brilliant. (laughs) And we're going to do that. Oh, it's on. It's on. stickers on it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The ladies were here, bitches. (laughs) Paris Roar yeah. and menstruate. We don't we don't have beers, but we got tampons. How about we, that? We left some of us behind. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's getting a little awful now. Yeah, yeah. No, that's hey, right. Cards that's against humanity. Cards against humanity. Yeah, that's, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Did that's you guys have any is. good cards over there? We've uh, we've had a lot of penis. Yeah. Cards Go going on. Girls, penises. Those are the best. A lot of Those, penis the cards. The sexy ones and the, like the really like graphic ones are always the ones that win. Yeah. Like anytime I get anything that's mild, I'm like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I, guess I had a card yeah, that I just played I just that was Andre the Giant's giant leather scrot- leathery scrotum. scrotum. Oh, that's Rest beautiful. Peace, How can you go wrong with well, that? Well, you know why? You it's can't. like, it's kind of perfect because you know his scrotum probably is leathery, right? <laughs> It's like serendipity. But, like, picture it, though, really. Because, I mean, like, is it the well, size of a dead, grapefruit? So it would be leathery. Is it a grapefruit? Is it a watermelon? I think he's dead. I oh. think he is dead. It's probably okay. somewhere I was like, between. Oh, I hope I didn't kill him off prematurely. Somewhere between a grapefruit and a watermelon is what I'm going to guess. Because he's wow. pretty big. He's, he's, he's white. Why is it so round or if it's a grapefruit? It be, wouldn't it be funny if, like, he was just such a huge guy and then he just was, like, it carrying like a tuna can? Yeah, perspective. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Just short and fat, and like that's it. That's all he's got. Yeah, it's, it's like, all the roids. It's like an emergency button, and that's it. China had a bigger clit than he did. Exactly. Oversized exactly. clit. Yeah. Oh, there we go. China. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. 
perfect. I'm glad we I'm got I'm a huge tampons. wrestling fan, so that's kind of like right up my alley. You I really are, like, enjoy perfect wrestling for too. this show because we're already like what we we covered scrotum, clit, tampons, and tampons, menstruation. Yeah, perfect. like we pretty beer? much covered it. Oh wait, beer. Did you guys? Beer. Okay, here's something funny. Did you guys hear about the vagina beer? The vagina yeah. what? Did you? Yes. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The vagina, vagina so beer. I don't know. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Ooh. So I had a friend, my friend. Uh, mm. okay, thank you, thank not you for interested. Making, for, for making that face. Because mm. my friend Josh, Josh Stewart sent me a message. He's the host of a show called Inner Brews. And he was like, would you drink this beer? Ooh for a hundred dollars oh and wait. i said um no probably costs more than a hundred let me tell you why because i own a vagina <laughs> okay and i know what happens down there and i'm grossed out by my boyfriend <laughs> like i don't know how he can do it right? i don't want to do it no thank you well, no. did you see so like there's that group on facebook um that's all about beer where they were talking about it and there was somebody somebody in our beer community Ooh. Who actually like gave the reasons like pro for why drinking it would vagina not beer? Be that bad? Yeah, I don't think it would be fishy. It's not like you well, know. Well, listen, I know some guys that would drink that beer for free and then tip it twenty dollars. So like, <laughs> I can see why guys would drink it. It was it was a guy. And of course, course it, of course it was a guy. Of course it was. Of course, but this yeah. this gentleman is married with children. And he'd be fine with... He would drink his still, wife's vagina beer. He would drink his wife's well, vagina that beer. That's counts. true love. I mean, because You can't personalize the vagina beer. Can you that be an OK Cupid question? Yes. <laughs> would you drink my vagina beer? Yes. 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 Oh my gosh. That's perfect. Yes. Because you know what? Let me tell you. <gasps> guys love chicks that drink beer, right? And all the time right. guys are like, oh, what's hotter than a chick that drinks beer? Oh, I got a beer for you. <laughs> my vagina beer. Let's go. What's going to happen? There you go. Right. That's how you know it's yeah. true love. It's so the next dating question. Yeah, it perfect. is. But it I want to know, is. like, would guys drink a semen beer? Uh, no. No, they you wouldn't. No, they would not no. even. I'm not going to put that in my oh, mouth. Oh, that makes yeah. me gay. Yeah. <laughs> what? Right. Yeah. They would. Right. They would. It only makes you gay if you like it. Meanwhile, right. <laughs> meanwhile <laughs> we're like, like <laughs> meh. Meh. Eh. I don't Vagina know. beer, I think, yeah. whatever. I mean, I think girls have drank enough semen in their life to kind of like not need a another, beer made out of it. Yeah, thank but you, you. could even God go the other you. way with thank that, you. though. <laughs> yes. I'm sure that there's enough lesbians out there who have had their fair share. I'm sure. Of That's true. Vagina. No, of course. I mean, of yeah. course. So it would be nothing for them. No, but yeah, but see, yeah, but I'm not. I like guys. So. so I mean, I'm just, just wondering, saying. like, the yeast production. Like, would you you'd have to... And, like, how many different vaginas have to be made in order to produce that beer and distribute Unless it? it's yeah. just the same vagina producing over and over. This guy really likes this conversation. He's I like, I have. hate these girls. <laughs> vagina. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> this podcast sucks. <laughs> Never downloaded it. Oh, oh, she's crafty. It's all about vaginas all the time. <laughs> Feminism. <laughs> yeah. Fuck feminism. Thought we were talking about beer. Yeah. No, we are. We are. It's all about beer. <laughs> the JJ Bear. It was beer. It was, it was beer. beer. It yeah. was beer. That's awesome. So speaking of these beers. Yes. I'd never had their El Despierto. El Despierto. The new one? Is that, Is that one new? Yeah, the yeah, brown. I haven't had that one either. Coffee brown coffee good. company, brown coffee company. Nice. Are you guys gonna try that one tonight? You think? It was good. It was oh, really you had good. It already. Oh, I, I'm having it right now. Okay. It was I'm really good. Off of her. Oh, okay, nice, nice. You definitely. I really need one. love the 210 ale. Is like one of my go-to mm. like lighter session beers. That, that I really grapefruit like. 210. Perfect oh, summer beer. Was it is. Good Go girl. home. Oh, yeah. Grapefruit sculpin. Oh yeah. You're done. Yeah, oh. it's good. Anything grapefruit. Yeah. Anything. Did you guys try the new Ranger Creek? No, I haven't The yet. Hobby Berliner was. Yes, yeah. I did. Yes. Did you yesterday. like it? I, it was really good. It was better than what I was expecting. I liked it. I loved the Purple Rhyme, but I like this better than oh, really? the yeah. Purple Rhyme. Okay, yeah. but so, I like I'm, purple not, rhyme a so lot. I'm not a sour person. Okay. okay. Cannot stand a sour. Okay. So is this more sour than Purple Rhyme? Because no. I had Purple Rhyme. It's no. dialed down a little. And, and yeah. the, the stinky feet portion is definitely dialed down yeah, because yeah, yeah. of the dry oh, hopping. Maybe yeah. I like that one. It doesn't smell like vomit. <laughs> Which sometimes happens. Score. Yes. Score. Yeah, that was ma made it hard for me to choke it down. I was like, oh, yeah. this is going to be chunky, and then yeah, I'm done. Yeah. 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 This when is I've had a Berliner Weiss before. Just like college, and I don't want to taste that again. <laughs> Wait, are we talking about vagina, vagina beer again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we all experience we don't, a little We don't need <laughs> vagina beers because there's Berliner Weisses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank uh, you. There stinky feet bad. and chunky and all. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. We're bad feminists. Yum. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's an awful conversation. Okay, no, it's keep going. 
<laughs> we need to fill the tape. We gotta fill the time, man. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. I don't have Brandy today. I need all these foul mouths. Mr. I didn't know what a podcast was should yeah. really come and chat oh, with you yeah. at some point. Oh, because oh. this couple, they yeah. have been, they've hit up every day of beer week so far. God bless them. And said that really? Sunday, they've done like, they did two or three different events on Sunday. Wow. And that is so dedication. they're whipping out some beer week stuff. I did a couple. Stuff. I did, what did I do? Let's talk about this for just a minute. I did, oh, the washer contest at Big Hot's. Oh, yesterday? At Bitters, yeah. On Monday. On Monday, okay. I got I got wrangled into a washer contest. I've never played washers before. <gasps> How'd you do? Uh, not good. Um, yeah, not very well. Boom. I don't know what yeah. washers are. It's like a real red texting thing card. where you like, throw something and it's supposed to go in the hole. It's kind of like corn. What's that corn game? Corn is it the one on the string? Like cornhole. Is it the one on the string? No. No, no, no. It's a cup over at the end. It's just like cornhole yeah. only. It's like with but washers. I felt, okay. first of all, I felt outnumbered because it was <gasps> me and Chrissy from uh, Branchline. Yes. And then nothing but like guys that have been perfecting this game for fucking ever. Right? <laughs> Drinking beer and, and like, perfecting okay, the calm game. Down. You don't get to jump up and down because you've been doing this shit forever, okay? It's like when tall yeah, people brag about down. being tall. Like, you yeah, didn't bullshit. earn hey, hey, You don't get hey, to. Hey, I'm just hey. saying. I'm Y'all just were saying. born that way. You were born that way. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So that was cool. And then last night I went to the sh- the, seafood, the seafood boil. The Ranger Creek oh, seafood boil. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. boil. I was yeah. there too. Did you? I didn't see you, yeah. but I didn't know you yet. So that could be yeah, possibly probably it. Yeah. I actually was standing right next to a couple of guys. I'm going to assume they were single because they were so offensive that I can't imagine that anybody wow. would with them. Look at your face. I know, girl. Wow. This In is, public. This is how the wow. conversation goes. Hey, God, man, remember that girl, Debbie? Dude, she had the biggest fucking titties. <laughs> Shut like, up. Whoa. Nobody's begging you. Like, you're in public. <laughs> People can hear you. I'm standing right next to you, man. And it's like a you're using PSA your outside for guys. voice. Yeah. Don't talk about another girl's Dude, boobs. she was real tight <laughs> and small, and she had the biggest fucking titties. And I was like, whoa. See, at that point, you pick up your phone, and yes. you act like you're talking on it. And, and you're you like, just, oh, my gosh, yeah. these guys I'm standing next to are, like, the nastiest pieces of shit douchebag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just be like, I can tell that he's a premature ejaculator. But I... I'd have talked shit. Ooh. I didn't say anything. Ooh. I was with my mom. And I yeah. Just, uh, yeah, like, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and I was true. like, my mom was like, didn't you Which is even more too? embarrassing that they Ew. did that in no, front of, like, And then an I walked woman. down to my car, ladies, and there was a used condom <laughs> next to my wheel and a bottle no. of wine, like, 10 feet away. And I was like, wow. No. Somebody had dated. In the parking lot. Yeah. Like, City View is awesome. City View is a new date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> place. Really good. It was good. <laughs> Do you, work, you, do you, have you ever been, to, my brother works at City View. Thanks no, I, th- I thought that's what it's called. Yeah, right, yeah, City yeah, View yeah. is the, the building company. Yeah, my that brother works so there. That is so awful. That's why I, my brother literally works in the building next door, and I texted him, I was like, this was you, right? <laughs> <laughs> who else would this be? <laughs> who else would bring him a low to a yeah, parking lot? who else would bring this fucking Strawberry Hill? <laughs> oh. No, I'm just kidding, I don't know what it was. I, I was probably a twist off. You know, they yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah, it. You know, they didn't have it. It literally looked like they just like did their business and then opened the door and they were like throwing it out the side. Oh, and then I mean, here I am thinking they were outside the car. No, I think it was probably this was probably car love, I mean, which has never had been. to have been booze because there would have been who drinking a fancy whatever seven dollar bottle of wine <laughs> even <laughs> I mean you can get like, a fancy three dollar bottle of wine at Trader oh, Joe's. That's you know what? That's, that's why we're true. beer drinkers yeah. because. Yeah. Yeah. Three dollars ain't fancy in wine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> girl, that's as fancy as I get. I don't even drink wine. wine. Wine gives me a headache. That's how you know I was born to be a beer drinker. Oh yeah, that. Yeah. It was tanning. Tanning. Yeah. Wine makes me pass out. Not like pass out like. Like black, black out. Not the just fun like pass out. Fall asleep in a very unfun way. You know what I mean? Not the fun way. <laughs> yeah. Like in the woe, Catherine, you're fucking old. <laughs> in that way. Yeah. You've already peaked. <laughs> yeah. You peaked five years ago. That was, you had one glass of white wine. Are you okay? <laughs> it was white. Yeah. It How was this, wine. Why is this so bitter? Why isn't it sweet? I don't understand what you guys just gave me. What is this shit? <laughs> I hear that a lot about shit. beer. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Bree. Hi, Bree. How hey. are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. <laughs> what are we doing here tonight? Oh, coming just to having some beer. Yeah. Yeah. Coming to hang out? Yeah, coming to hang out. Beer week? Beer week, yeah. Here oh, to pro- I've got some koozies in your I've hand, got too. Some koozies, yeah. Ooh. Camp our way. Ooh, Adult what summer camp. Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> the connection is made. <laughs> I 
almost <laughs> registered for camp this year. Are you going? It's the camp this days. May. Yes. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. <laughs> but I think, don't y'all have some spots open still? Uh, yeah, we have a few spots so. open. Are you coming? But it's the teepees, not the cabins that you have open, right? No, we have cabins. Oh. This is different. Yeah. Oh. It's, I don't Which know. one is this one? This is Camp Our Way. This is going to be yeah, in Wimberley. Wimberley. Yeah. You're yeah. 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 Uh, the camp that Brandy does, which yes. is which, uh, Dazed and Dazed and Dazed. Dazed. Hers is already yes, full. Hers that's is full. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. That, that, that one's that already one's full. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Camp Our Way. Can I snake these out of your yeah, hand? Yeah, you can. So this one is oh. co-ed. This is co-ed. Whereas, oh. You can get pregnant at this camp. We like Brandy's camp, so we let boys come to this one. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> so tell us about where, what it is really and uh, where people can sign up and all that stuff. Okay, so you can go um, to the website, camperway.com. Okay. And um, the upcoming camp is in May, May 19th to the 22nd. It's okay. It's uh, one long weekend. Awesome. And um, we've got a special for She's Crafty. Ooh. So $150 off Holy for shit. She's Crafty followers. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Camp Cousins is the promo code. Yeah. So, oh, perfect. Yeah. Cool. Okay, <laughs> so She's Crafty Beer Nuts, Camp Cousins at the Camp Our Way website, and you'll get a Hundred and fifty dollars. Correct. Yeah. Off of your camping fee, which is so cool. This is adult summer camp. Um, let's see. It's all inclusive. It's all inclusive. Like your booze. So if you're like a real all big the booze, booze man, you really? have to be twenty one uh, up. Yeah, yeah twenty one up. All booze, and we only do top shelf, so it's local, oh, locally it's sourced. Super fancy. Texas craft beers, Rebecca Creek. Nice whiskey. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Tito's vodka. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bloody Mary and mimosas every morning. Okay, so tell us like the best. <laughs> How do you expect story? us to do any activities? Of <laughs> soap making. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Why doesn't each one of these say drunken soap making? Yeah, yeah, drunken, it is. Drunken yeah. pottery. We do that with wine. Oh, perfect. <laughs> drunken perfect. musical okay, entertainment. Okay, so you don't have to give me any names, but maybe give me like kind of a little bit of a good camp story, if you have one. Oh Ooh. goodness, hold on, Stuart. He's the owner. He's gonna have a good oh, one. Oh, nice. Hey, Stuart, do you remember a good camp story? Can you remember them? Uh, yes, our DJ got arrested. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh there we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it was on a pajama night. Okay. We have nightly theme parties, and he was nice. dressed as Yoda. Of and course. So at 3 in the morning, he breaks down all the stereo equipment, okay. and he's not seen until 9 the next day. <laughs> in a Yoda onesie. In a Yo Yoda oh, my onesie. God. In Hunt, Texas, nice. in the middle of nowhere. Cops picked him up 22 miles downriver, wondering lost, knocking what? on doors, asking where he was. <laughs> it was catch and release. They brought him back. They brought him back. <laughs> oh, so they didn't take him in. No, Wait. No, they didn't no. book him. They snapped a few uh, selfies with him. Yes, of before course. letting him go. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. That is awesome. But he got caught because he was knocking on doors out in the middle of the country saying... Do I you know, know where I am? <laughs> How do you get lost like that? You just walk and just keep walking, right? I don't know. All uh, inclusive. All inclusive. <laughs> all inclusive. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. A lot of booze. Yeah. It'd be awesome if you were just trying to like spin all the way like down. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be the best, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's super cool. Uh, you don't want to be dressed as Yoda out there, you know. A lot yeah. of those guys don't like aliens. Well, I would think that he'd be, it was like Bigfoot or something. That would freak yeah. the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wonder how many Bigfoot sightings there were that night. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know. They're drunk out there anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. Probably. Yeah. That was That's a good one. That's super cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm so excited. Thank Absolutely. you for stopping by our little booth and for letting us know about Camp Our Way. And Camp Cousins is the code. Code for right? 150 off. Yep. Perfect. Yep. April's the last month to sign up, though. So April's the last month. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're back, and we're here with Rob from Busted Sandal and our good friend Paul from No Label, who's still looking for a baby mama. In case Apparently. anybody wants to email, she's craftypodcast.com. We're trying to help him out. There's there's a, a good choice of women here tonight. There's, so. There are a few ladies in the house, because it, I mean, it's a kind of a ladies' event, kind of, but there's a lot of guys in here, too. It's kind of pretty equal, I would say. I got right. a 50 50 shot. Yeah, it's nice, right? It's nice. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure that Paul would prefer uh, a lady from somewhere else, somebody that does not drink beer at all, so oh, she you can always drive him home. I, yeah, I drink enough beer for both of us. Uh, <laughs> you don't like girls with beer guts? That's not your thing? I, I got a beer you gut got big enough? enough for both of us as I well. I got it. I got it. I got it. 
So Rob, tell us what you do here at Busted Stand Up, for those of us that don't know. Well, I've been here since day one. Me, uh, Mike, and Joe came in here, and uh, if you come into the brewery, we've got pictures on the wall that kind of shows us the aftermath of the demolition we did that one night. Nice. Ever since then, um, I've come up with most of the recipes, although we've got a bunch of um, great new people in the house that are probably going to be contributing some really great things really soon. Oh, cool. Uh, we started off with our staple beers, which were meant to be more uh, approachable type beers. Well, now that we've got a lot of our staple beers out. We're starting to introduce our La Chancla series, which is a lot right. of kind of specialty one-offs. Awesome. So you can expect to see about six to eight weeks, uh, another one beer coming out. Okay. As a matter of fact, we're releasing on Friday our Finding Friday uh, Mexican Lager. So we're nice. having a party here at the brewery. Nice. So that'll be cool. And there's a couple other things that are uh, coming up on tap. And uh, luckily, some of the new guys, the new blood around here, have started to contribute recipes. And they're perfect. Uh, we're just honing them down to, to prepare them for release as part of La Chancla. Perfect. So we actually have a beer here, right, Paul? We do, one? yeah. It's the La, La Chancla series El Despierto, right? Yes, that's uh, the El Despierto coffee porter. It's made with coffee uh, that uh, was provided by Brown Coffee Company. Okay. They selected an excellent bean for this particular version. And okay. I say this version because... Last year we did debut a, um, a very similar version with a different bean at our Porter Palooza last year. Okay. Um, and then of course uh, with the release of this one we had it at this year's Porter Palooza. Nice, very nice. Did you take it a sip already? I did. I like it. It's nice and easy drinking, but I, I feel like there's quite a bit of alcohol in it. Uh. It's a higher ABV beer. Uh, it's northward of eight. Uh, I believe it's 8.4, so it's, it's got a little bit of a, nice. of a push to it. That's it does, high. like you can really taste the coffee, mm -hmm. and it's just a little bit, like a little bit, you can kind of, it's kind of boozy, but it's not over, it's not too much. Like it's not burning the inside of my organs. No, nice like and easy, and you know yeah. you're drinking a great beer. Yeah. yeah. And of course the roasted malt and the, uh, the chocolate malt and the coffee kind of like gives it a little bit of a semi-dessert feel about it. So, yes. so you don't exactly get the alcohol, but you know it's there. Absolutely. This would be really That's good with part. like mm -hmm. a really delicious... I don't know. It's I was going to say something brilliant, and then I was like... Then you realize that yeah, you just don't like have anything brilliant to say. Big, beautiful lava cake. Big, beautiful lava... I like that description. We're going to put it on the wall. Yeah. You were going to say something brilliant, but you're afraid that uh, me or Paul would steal it and use it yeah, later Yeah, I'd so. use it later, uh, and yes. I, I, I was going to trademark it, and I don't want that to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Is it the, oh, the strawberry blonde from No Label. Is it delicious? That, that's that's what I get because I have this brewer shirt right. on. Well, you I have work a that, giant right? so it, makes sense that you would get it that. does. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. Well, so we brought it out in the spring to be closer to Strawberry Festival, the Poteet Strawberry oh, Festival. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. And it worked out. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't make everybody happy all the time. Rob would, would know that. I mean, coffee yeah. porter I think is year round, and some people would only want it in the winter. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Real Ale makes a really good example of it uh, that they put out year after year uh, as their seasonal. And again, this is going to be our La Chancla beer, but we already had several people asking about turning it into a year-round beer. Oh, nice. And uh, we're going to we're gonna roll a few more releases on our La Chancla series before we decide what else we're going to wind up rolling into our regular yearly rotation. Okay, so, so. Um, how many more beers do you think will be rolled out for the La Chancla series? I'm sorry, what's that? Do you know how many more you're going to do? It's something that we're going to um, continue doing on okay. an ongoing basis. Oh, okay. So, um, cool. again, r really every six to eight weeks. And we have so many beers already in the pipeline that it will carry us way beyond the end right. of the year. So, uh, cool. so expect good things. So I know that you guys have a Fiesta Metal launch coming up, right? When is that? That is actually going to be this Saturday. It's going to be our personal uh, capstone event on San Antonio Beer Week. Okay. Uh, the event is actually already sold out. Nice. So, um, Unless there's going to be secondary uh, market tickets, you know, right. I think they might be going for about two or three thousand dollars each. Of course, of course, um, scalpers, yes, man. Every yes. time man. they get you, every time. I was going to put you on the spot. Yeah. I was going to say, Rob, how do I get a medal without having to come to your party? But yeah. apparently, I can't. It's actually an extremely brilliant design uh, that Frank Deberry came up with. Yeah. We're really excited about it. Um, our marketing director, Roland Thames, is way, way, way into um, the idea of Fiesta. Yeah. He probably wears about 500 pounds of medals of, uh, on him every yeah. single Fiesta, and they're all from that year. So, Amazing. So the moment he arrived, the first thing he thought was metal Even parties Fiesta galore. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So if people cannot make it to the event on Saturday, how can they get a medal? Well, we're hoping that we actually have medals left over. Okay. Most of them have already been spoken for. What we've okay. done in years past is there's always been you know, maybe a dozen or two medals that we either sold to the the patrons of the party who wanted to pick up extras, okay. 
Uh, and in rare situations, I think last year we actually had maybe about a dozen or two that survived. Okay. And we just kind of sold them off as people asked, you know, okay. they mentioned they had missed them. So we're like, Perfect. oh. Perfect, so come to the tap room then. Yeah, come to the tap room. There's there's a possibility. But, awesome. um, I, I yeah. saw a giveaway though, right? You were doing a giveaway on We're on also Facebook. doing giveaways. Um, we're actually having Fiesta Royalty visit as well uh, as part of our party. Uh, last year the entire court came and it just, um, oh, wow. it was really a great event and uh, well, everyone had a great time. Fiesta Royalty, I don't know if you know this, but my co-host Brandy's not here today, but she's the queen of corneation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah, That's does that awesome. count as Fiesta Royalty? That absolutely okay, does. Okay, I'm just checking. Yeah, there we does. go. There's metal? the medal. Oh, very nice. That's yeah. great. Sorry, you can't see super the medal. Awesome. You have yeah, to come no, to Corneation. Yeah, you have to come to Corneation to get your medal. That's right. That's super awesome. Do you have any other events that you wanted to plug before we... Actually, um, we have a poetry slam that's happening here at the brewery tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, again, our Finding Friday uh, party. And then, of course, um, besides our medal party, just encouraging everybody to get out to the closing ceremonies out at the Lone Star Brewery. Absolutely. Uh, the event gets better and better every year. Um, the uh, Pearl helped us throw an awesome event uh, last year, and we're really excited to see what Lone Star is going to be able to offer us. Super cool. Awesome. And if people want to find Busted Sandal, they go to BustedSandalBrewery.com, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Thank you so much. It was nice, so nice to meet you. Thanks. It was absolutely great Thanks, talking Rob. with you. All right, Paul. Let's talk about this baby mama situation. What What would you like to know? Have you Have you gotten any messages? I have not gotten Since any. Since the messages. last time we had a podcast. No, I've gotten a weird Facebook request from a good lady. Or from, from a lady. A guy? From a lady. Okay. Fortunately, it was a lady. Um, it is the most flattering picture of her. Looks fake. Oh. I don't know if I can trust it. So she's just sitting there Wait, in my just friend's her inbox. Did you just yes. get in uterus first? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Ready? Ready for it to be? Uh, this, this is going to get graphic. It's two seconds away from being graphic. Can you feel it? I can. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. What else? What do you guys got going on in Low Label since the last time we talked to you? Since the last time you talked yeah. to me, we, we are running out of Strawberry Blonde. I haven't even tried that Strawberry Blonde yet. And everybody, I saw somewhere on Facebook that somebody commented on a post that you did about the new Ranger Creek Berliner. Yes. And then they said, oh, that Strawberry Blonde is so good. And you were like, oh, let's keep it. Let's keep it about the Berliner. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I want to I wanna promote No Label when I can. But yeah. if I'm going to give a shout out to another brewery, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. hijack my post and start yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about a beer. Yeah. That's not related to them. Yeah. Wanna I, wanna, I got to try that Strawberry Blonde, man. Where can I get the Strawberry Blonde right now? It, it's all gone. It's all gone. No, I no, I'm kidding. I'm home. kidding. No, actually, um, you can still get it at HEB's, okay. um, Total Wine, a couple of the specs. Okay. But it's going pretty fast. Is it? Uh, we are done brewing it. It's no longer in our warehouse. Wow. So whatever is out there is out there. And if you don't pick it up before it's gone, then we then have no it. more. That's it. You're out of, you're out out of, of luck. It. Wow. I didn't realize that this beer thing was so cutthroat. I didn't realize either. I mean. We're going to have a small conversation right now. There's a person standing in this brewery right now that is wearing a competitor's T-shirt. Me. Now it's me. No, no, no. Not a, a beer competitor. A barbacoa beer competitor. And I just caught it out of the side of my eye, and I'm like, motherfucker, why is that not a bean and cheese? Well, we can't. I got to hit the pavement more. Man. We all you don't have great taste. You come to the cheese crafty taste. event, and I'm not going to say the name of them, but in that other shirt, that's not okay. No, not okay it's at all. It's not okay. You gotta it's almost as bad as me showing up to another brewery in my brewer shirt. <laughs> You got to represent, though, right? I do. Everywhere and I go. And the cool thing about your shirt, it says Katie, Texas, right there. Shout out, Tigers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Tigers. Okay, so they are the Tigers. I the was Katie trying Tigers. To, I yeah. was trying to figure that out the other day. They're the Katie Tigers. Because Sealy's also the Tigers, right? Are they? Yeah, right before you get to Katie, they got that giant water I, tower. The Katie Tigers have a giant water tower, too. I haven't seen their water tower. Sealy. Huh. The one that I pass all the time. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't driven through Sealy in a really long time. Katie, it's okay. Katie's still better. I love Katie. Katie's, Katie's such a great, better. great. I don't even know if you call it a town anymore. It's, like, it's, it's not, a city. It's a city. It's it's almost even Houston. It's not even really. Yeah, exactly. It's not even its own city anymore. Like really. Leon Valley. They here. have a Taco Cabana there now. How fucking crazy Katie? is that? That's nuts. That is nuts. They didn't have it. They didn't. We had a Dairy Queen. Everybody had a Dairy Queen. We literally had a Main Street. Okay. And we would get in the back of somebody's truck and drive up and down Main Street. That sounds for fun. Very country. It was. I was just, it was. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm from, it I'm was from just rice fields and people cow tipping, guys with cups dipping and spitting into them. You, you really went cow tipping? I did not tip a cow. But you witnessed it. But I saw somebody else tip a cow, yes. Nice. 
shout out PETA, don't send me an email, but I'm just saying that I, at some point in my youth, witnessed somebody, and it's not as easy as, like, you don't just go out there and tip a cow. It's, so you know it's, what it's I mean? not like a, it, it takes is on the more movies. than one person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not that All easy. Right. Awesome. Anything you want to plug real fast before we wrap up? I'm going to plug our next beer. So okay. we are running out of Texas Strawberry Blonde, but right. here at the end of April, we are doing our Don Jalapeno Ale. Yeah. It makes great michelada, so if you're really? into that summer michelada. So people who don't know what that is, what is a michelada? Michelada is beer with like a spicy kind of mixture of right. just different spices that you put in the beer. And yeah, and you pour the beer in there, it goes, it goes in top, on top, right? It does. And it sort of tastes like a marinade for your meat, kind of. Yes, but yeah. it's delicious. But it's delicious. And it tastes even better with Don Jalapeno. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. The She's Crafty Podcast has only one mission, and that is to dominate this planet with a love of craft beer and comedy. You can help us do that by going to iTunes and rating, reviewing, and subscribing to the She's Crafty Podcast. The more people that do that, the higher our rankings will get in iTunes, and the more people will listen to us. The more people that listen to us, the more badass fucking episodes we can put out every week. So go to iTunes and rate, review, and subscribe to the She's Crafty Podcast. Hey Beer Nuts, it's me, Catherine, and I wanted to remind you that April is Autism Awareness Month. Every year, one in every 45 children is diagnosed with autism, and that number continues to rise. I am the proud mother of two children on the autism spectrum, and a fierce advocate for early intervention. Early intervention is the detection of autism characteristics in children before the age of three. Interventions like speech, occupational, and behavior therapies can greatly boost the development of children with autism. To find out more about the characteristics of autism and what to look for, go to AutismSpeaks.org and click Learn the Signs. If you think your child might be exhibiting signs of autism, seek out interventions in your area. Start with your child's pediatrician and keep going. You are your child's only advocate. Early intervention works. My children are proof. Because the earlier you know, the more they'll grow. Sometimes we feel really tech stupid. Or maybe we just drink too much. But it's difficult to drink a beer and create amazing graphics for the She's Crafty podcast. It's really hard to figure out our new smartphones and still consume our favorite IPA. So when we need help, we turn to Willie D at RGD Designs. RGD Designs is our favorite resource for just about everything from graphics to tech tutorials and reviews. Check out his YouTube channel before you dive into your next technological device. Go to his website at rgddesigns.com to see examples of his awesome graphic design work. Don't put down that beer. Just leave it up to Willie D at RGD Designs. You can find Willie D on YouTube and at his website, rgddesigns.com. Happy Chulo on the mic, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Uh, Happy Chulo, recurring guest, been on before, right? Yes, I have. So how are you coming on that uh, French press idea? I was... Um, well, first of all, let's explain I, to people what your idea was. Okay, so um, for uh, beer lovers, you know, the, the Randall, which we just set up right now, uh, we're setting right. up our 210 L with um, mango and pineapple. Yum. We're going to infuse it. And uh, a nice homemade, uh, you know, uh, homemade way, you know, you can do that is with the French press. Okay. Just get some beer and throw pretty much anything in there. Anything at all. Anything at all. Okay. Um, and you can infuse your beer with it. So the idea that we had is that you would do that, right? Yes. And then we would try them on the podcast. The idea that I pitched a long time ago yeah. was I'm going to set up all these badass, like, infusions right. with different beers. Right. I wanted to do all San Antonio beers. Right. I started doing them, and I was I was just like swinging for the fences. I was like, right. you know what? I'm gonna do um, cocoa puffs with El Robusto right. and uh, marshmallows and something. It got it got out of hand. It got out of hand, and okay. I was like, man, I'm just a fat ass because I just <laughs> everything that I did was just like, yeah. oh, let me put more sugar in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, was it good? Would you, was there any that like you were like, oh wow, this could really work? No, everything <laughs> like that. <laughs> Especially like the shitty uh, cereal ones. I was yeah, like, yeah. I used like the Reese's peanut butter and the cocoa puffs. I mixed it, and I'm like, what am I, what am I doing with my life right yeah. now? So, so how many hours do you think you devoted to that? 
Hopefully not more than... Maybe like one or two. Okay, that's not bad. That's <laughs> yeah, not bad. That's, that's, bad. that's <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's I was like, perfect. my health is um, diminishing. I shouldn't really... Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it is what... Do you, do you like to do a lot of experimental cooking? Um, the only one that I've been like really adamant on was uh, Passion Fruit with the Fire Pit Wit. Okay. I think that one just... Yeah, it's man. so good. It's super refreshing. Yeah. So, that's been my... The one like, hey, let's add this, and it came out great. So okay, good. Well, that's one. Well, yeah. So we got yeah. one down. Yeah. yeah, we'll come up with something amazing. Yeah. Just be like, let's just put some cocoa puffs and some cocaine in there. And I should have like a mystery like, one, like, what do you think? What it's do you in think there? it is? Yeah. Mm, this tastes like spaghetti. It's milk bones. It's milk bones. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's milk bones. Delicious. On nitro. So. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. You got anything? What are you doing these days? You're just selling that bus. I Santa, am. Right? Yeah, I'm running around to Austin, Houston, Corpus, the Valley. Nice. Sometimes all in one week. Nice. And um, a lot of. Uh, a lot of karaoke in the van on long road trips. Of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of podcasts. I do yeah, listen to thank She's you. Crafty. Thank you. Uh, yeah, a lot of podcasts. This American Life. So, what are your favorites? This American Life, She's Crafty, obviously. She's Whatever. Crafty, number one. Yeah. Uh, number two is uh, Harmon Town. Oh, I've not listened to that one. I love Harmon Town. Really? Uh, this American Life. Okay. Uh, the Beerist. The Beerist is a good one. That's one of my faves. Yeah. Yes. Shout out Beerist. Actually, uh, Michael's having a birthday like in a couple weeks. Is he? We, they actually invited us to a bottle share that we couldn't go to. Their bottle shares are Have phenomenal. Been? I've been to three of them. Nice. And I get hammered. Really? You need to take a little oh. bitty glass because yeah. you'll try about like 30 beers. Oh, nice. And none of them, they're like hardly any IPAs or there's no blondes they're yeah. all this is a barley wine aged for six years oh this God. is a lambic well, that's some that serious I, business yeah. they bust out some good stuff what every time I've take? gone whatever whatever busted I found at the store no no I've taken busted sandal before I've taken the yeah. Robusto they liked it so very um, nice but no uh, let me know when you guys go to that that bottle share it's yeah. always good it's always really? like solid yeah yeah it w like they, the day that they had it and, they and they're had filthy it to too down. like y'all would get along perfectly perfect yeah, so. I know I love their show their show is so good they have a really good following too which is super awesome okay so and what else so that a lot of dick jokes at their bottle share oh really um, that's yeah. my favorite Just perfect perfect within minutes yeah fantastic um, yeah yeah uh, podcasts are, are amazing because anybody can make one and anybody can listen to it. Mm -hmm. You know? It's not an exclusive club. You can do it about anything. You can do it about fucking anything. Do you know something? Actually, shout out my friend James Trammell from Untapped. Yeah, James, yeah. He told me that we, we were having lunch one day, and he was like, you think there's pod, like porn podcasts? And I was like, there has to be, right? And then we Googled it, and there is. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I'm wondering, like, that's a, that's a really hard job. <laughs> like, just for 30 minutes to be like, oh, oh, like, because you know it's just, it's not real. Right. Right? Just like, insert gorilla noises here, like, whatever they're doing. Right? You would think. I'm down. I've been on that podcast before. Have you? Times. Yeah. It's just like a lot of heavy breathing and some, like, big fat guy just like, oh, oh, oh. Tell yeah. me if you remember this one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, is that episode 23? That's me. That is episode you got me. 23. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. So, yeah, you guys check out the podcast, the Porncasts. The Porkcast. The Porkcasts. Those sound exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Marissa would love to join us right now, but she's uh, hard she's at work. She's working so hard. I think in a little bit we're going to do an empanada and beer pairing. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. I don't even care if it pairs. I just want to eat it and drink it. Well, last time you came, the... It was a uh, tattoo boy's uh, Ray. It was tattoo yeah. Ray's birthday. Uh, yeah, and he had a cupcake, and man, that tasted good with the oh, that bourbon good, right? one we yeah, had. Oh, that my was God. awesome. I kind of like. I really only like doing this podcast because we do a lot of food and like beer pairings, and I'm mm -hmm. like, fuck yeah. I hope it's all right off. Like you could write that off at the end of the year. Uh, maybe I don't know. Brady does all that. I don't have any idea. I'm, I'm just this voice. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Happy yeah, Chulo. You're awesome. Oh, you're awesome. Um, this one looks novel. That's a nice one, right? I like it. Would you like to choose a mic? I know you want to. There we go. All right. Okay, so what's your name? Who am I today? Oh. I'm here as a blogger. Yeah, you have to put the mic up to your mouth. That's how it works. Yeah, that's how it works. Hello, my name is Hump Day Funday. Oh, 
I, I didn't hear you, but it sounded. Hum, hum day fun day. Holiday fun day. No, hum day fun day. Hum day fun. Oh, it's Wednesday. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm on the, I yeah, got gotcha. you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. What's your name? My name's Daniel. It's just Daniel. Just Thank Daniel. you, yeah. Daniel, for being honest. It's big I dub C. It. Are you guys, is this your first Beer Week event that you've been to? It is. It is. Yes. Are you planning on going to any others? Yes. Yes, which ones? Good question. You don't know. Just no. whatever the wind takes just, you. Just you winging know. it. Yeah, this Make is not planned. This one. I, this one was planned. Oh, good. Perfect, yeah. Because I yeah. was going to be here, right? I actually, that's why the 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 uh, Woman Crush Wednesday with the uh, Girls yeah. Out pint thing Perfect. and Shindig and yeah. whatnot, and then the podcast was here. Just go where the ladies are, right? Yes, yeah, he just, well, no, yeah, he, I just follow wherever Hum Day Fun Day goes. <laughs> wherever, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Hum Day exactly. Fun Day. Like, exactly, yeah. Why wouldn't yeah. you follow that train, yeah. right? Perfect. Okay, we're going to play a little game. Okay, All are right. you guys both from San Antonio? Yes. Shout out. All right. We're going to play a little game. It's called I Think My Beer Might Be Stoned. Oh, that's okay. lovely. And I'm going to give you the name I'm of either this a one. beer or a wheat strain. And you're going to tell me, is it a beer or a wheat strain? It's super easy. Okay. okay? A I beer already, or already a won? I already won. You already won? A you already know. Is it a beer or is it a strain of wheat? That's oh you're going to tell me. <laughs> All right, do, you, do you smoke pot? No. 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 Hump day fun can, day doesn't can, smoke pot. Can, that doesn't no, make sense. that's illegal. Can, no, you go straight to mainland heroin. You, sh- you, you should get a lifeline and call Isaac. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Train wreck. Train wreck. Is that a strain of weed or is that a beer? That's a beer. Yeah, I think it's a beer. It's a strain of weed, really? gentlemen. Really? Train wreck? This yeah. is a setup. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Moose drool. That's Moose a beer. Moose drool. That's a wheat. It's beer. Oh, so we're we at zero, one zero, right? Oh. Granddaddy purple. What is that? Granddaddy, Granddaddy purple. purple. That's let's say a s- strain. I'll say beer. It's a strain of weed. <laughs> Two zero. Hashtag jerk Hump to my day left. Fun day is a fun guy, but not good at games. We not tonight. Yeah. Uh, Okay, pansy peeler. Is that a, a beer? Oh, pansy peeler. Pansy peeler. Wow, I know someone like that. Um, I'm gonna Is go. Is he here? Oh, it's a he. Is he here? <laughs> no. You never know. <laughs> These are modern times, sir. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Um, if I were me, which I am, I would say that's a beer. It is a beer by a company called Midnight Sun. Oh, very nice. Perfect. Uh, Pinner Throwback. Pinner Throwback. Strain of wheat. Strain of wheat. That is a beer by Oscar Blues. Chocolope. Chocolope. I think I've heard this one before. Oh, that was too quick. You've had that one, yeah? I I believe so. I've had something similar. Yeah, that is a strain of weed. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get to answer, but it's okay. Well, you didn't know it, so it's okay. Right. I, I have no idea. Um, this is a, this is a golden tough. goat. That's a wheat. Beer. It is a strain of weed. Oh, really? Score. I kind of figured about it. I've different. stopped taking score or keeping score just so you guys oh, know. Oh, well, we're, we're about tied game. anyway. Yeah. Well, oh, we're tied now? Okay, perfect. I, I'm just saying. Lumpy gravy. Beer. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to go with beer. It's a beer made by Lagunitas. Good job. Nice. Uh, happy endings. Oh, oh. Beer. Uh, it is, a, is it weed? Is it beer? Or is it like maybe what's going to happen later if you guys keep getting I these girls drunk and we'll be crushed wins it? I think it's a both, but I'll lean towards a wheat. Beer. It's a beer made oh. by Sweetwater. Hey, okay, there's one more. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Uh, Lemon skunk. That's a wheat. It's a beer. It is a strain of weird. Well, a weed. I know skunk. Wait, you said yeah. strain of beer. I, I said strain of beer, you and did. then I corrected myself. I thought, oh, it, was, oh, I thought oh. it was just too easy to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well done. I don't know who won because I stopped keeping score. I did too. Yeah. We'll, we'll call it a tie. But I'm sure it was me. But how about we just say that you're both winners because you got to be on the She's Crafty podcast. Yeah, exactly. We're always winners because we're on the She's Crafty exactly. podcast. Perfect. Yes. Awesome Perfect. sauce. Thank you so much, guys. Well done. Thank you. Well awesome. Done. Thanks for having us. Of course. That was fun. Awesome. Okay. So first, tell me your name. Cindy. Cindy, and where are you from? San Antonio. Where? San Antonio. San Antonio, shout out. Oh! Patty. Patty, where are you from? San Antonio. San Antonio. 
Puro. San Antonio. I'm from San Antonio. Okay, awesome. We're going to play a game. It's called 30 Questions, 5 Minutes, 1 Beer. Okay? 30 Questions, 5 Minutes, 1 Beer. Okay. Well, we only have a little bit. Is so that okay? You're fine. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, the object of this game is to answer all these questions and finish your beer within 5 minutes. So I'm going to ask Paul. Do you have your phone on you, Paul? If you could put 5 minutes on, that'd be perfect. Paul from No Label is helping me out today. These are random, they're random fucking questions. Okay. Like, just so you know. Like, they have, there's no rhyme or reason. You don't know what's coming next. Okay. But just say the first thing that pops to your mind. All right. Okay. Popcorn. I don't know. That works. Okay. Popcorn's okay. delicious. Yes, it Butter is. Butter popcorn, are you ready? Yes. Okay, ready? Yes. Don't forget to drink your beer as you go. Ready? Okay. Set, go. Front to back or back to front? Back, back to, to front. front. Backstreet Boys or NSYNC? NSYNC. Age of your first beer? 18. Five. Whoa. Martina, Martini's gin or vodka? What? what? Martini's gin or vodka? vodka? Vodka. Bottle, can, or draft? Bottle. Bottle. Least favorite Spice Girl? Which one should die? Posh. Uh, get rid of her. Yeah, Posh. Posh, definitely. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Bruce or Caitlyn? What? Bruce or Caitlyn? Caitlyn. Bruce. Kanye or Trump? Trump. Kanye. Con- Woo. Who shot JR? Your mom. Uh, his dad. Okay. Uh, mid-century impressionism or modern surrealism? What? Huh? Mid-century impressionism or modern surrealism? Mid-century. Yes. Okay. Favorite shitty beer? Oh, what Miller Lite. Light. Bud Light. Favorite shitty beer? Uh, Bud Light. Okay. Uh, what? Pick one beer for the rest of your life. Oh. Uh, um, Shit. Porter. Uh, it tastes like coffee. Yeah. Pale ale. Perfect. Um, top or bottom? Bottom. Bottom. Smoke it or eat it? What? Eat it? Smoke it or eat it? Smoke it. Tupac or Biggie? Tupac. Uh, Biggie. Did. Sure, we Girl. got events. Oh, we got events. We got a gangster. We got a gangster. Uh, did Adnan kill Hay? What? Who? Did Adnan kill Hay? Yes. yes. Lannisters or Starks? What? Oh, Starks. Starks, dude. Yeah, noble. Fuck yeah. Noble. Yes. Starks all the way. Like she don't it. know. What do you put on your hot dog? Ketchup, Ketchup. Ketchup. relish. Carne quesada or bean and cheese? Bean and cheese. Bean and cheese. Okay, get rid of one Texas one city. Just fucking blow it up. San Antonio. San Antonio. Oh, really? Fuck one. yeah. Oh, here. Okay. Uh, no, you don't want to get rid of us? No, get wait, rid wait, of what? One. Blow get it up. Rid of one. Oh. Yeah. Uh, up in the good way. Uh, Blow it up in like the post. Post. I don't know. Houston. Oh, thank Dang. you. Yeah. I hate the Texans. All right. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Are you drinking? Drink, drink, drink. Fuck yeah. Okay. Are gingers inherently evil? No. no. I work with a very nice oh, one. You guys are sweet. I just She's cursed amazing. though. Yeah. Is that okay? okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Batman versus Superman. Who wins? Superman. Superman. It's a zombie apocalypse. Do you fight or do you hide? Fight. Fight. Bud Light, Miller Light, or a slow, painful death? M- Miller Light. Slow, painful death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can curse. Given the choice of anyone in the world, who would you like to share a beer with? Cindy. Patty. Aww. Don't say that. Because we're, we're cousins. Because okay. <laughs> we're cousins. Okay, ind- independently, sing five seconds of your favorite karaoke song. Go. Because we're friends. Oh, God, that friends. song again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like that song. Okay. It's not what's my favorite. favorite yeah, what's oh, your favorite? Shit. No, yeah, your mom. Um, something you got seconds. my yeah. chair yeah. by George Strait. Nice. <laughs> Stupid nice. Song. Uh, if you could k- wake up with one superpower, what would it be? A reading mind. Shit. Uh, going fast. I don't know. <laughs> that. Going fast. Flash. Like. <laughs> Like the flash. <laughs> like two sex, like yes. get it over with. Like racing. Yeah. 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 Like racing. Like racing. time for that uh, shit. When it comes to beer, do you prefer quality or quantity? Quality. Oh, quality. Uh, what's your and favorite quantity. body part and why? What? what? What's your favorite body part and why? Oh, my. Uh, Does it have to be on me? On you or somebody else? Oh, penis? Mind. Smile. Uh, <laughs> that's sweet. Oh, my God. What a sweet, <laughs> sweet girl you are. She What's wants to say penis, but she's shy. Arms. Penis. Oh, arms? I said penis. Penis arms. Well, I mean, it's hard. But she said smile. She wants to say penis. 
somebody's penis size. Unless you, I guess maybe That's you could look at that. Yeah. The arms. Okay. Penis arms. Are nice. She My wanted to say penis arms. arms. Sorry. Okay, you have 45 seconds to finish your beer to win this game. And also, real fast, say your name and say, I listen to the She's Crafty podcast. Cindy listens to the She's Crafty podcast. podcast. Patty listens to the She's Crafty podcast. Perfect. She's Thank like, you so much. You guys had 28 seconds to spare. Awesome. High fives. Good job. Thank you, ladies. Go ahead and pick out your koozie of choice. Okay, we're back, and we're back with Marisa, the tap room manager at Busted Sandal. Welcome back, because you've been on the show before. Yes, I have, and it was an excellent time last time. So. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you for coming back. You put a little special treat together for us. Yes, I did. I kind of just threw this together a little last minute, but we'll see um, how the pairings go. I'm um, so excited. So we're going to do an empanada and beer pairing, which is super cool. The empanadas are coming from Fat Tummy Empanadas, and... The owners are Gustavo and Pablo, and they're actually going to be permanently at Busted Sandal Right starting May the 1st. May 1st, yeah. And you can also find them at the Point Food Truck Point Park. Point Park and Eats, yeah. And Perfect. I think they go into other few places, but so far that's that's pretty much they've made home over there at Point Park and Eats. Awesome. So have they, have they, have they been here before, or this is they, their first time? They do a lot of events with us, actually. Oh, perfect. Um, they've been here for, they're going to be here for our uh, Fiesta Metal release party. Nice. They were here for Porter Palooza. Uh, we've done a lot of events with them. Their food is So fantastic. personally, how many empanadas have you eaten, do you think? Oh, of theirs tonight or uh, Just in generally general? speaking. Oh, man, at least over 20. Right? <laughs> yeah. it's, so, it's such an easy food. You just walk over there yeah, and get one. you and get, get one, and then it's like, oh, you don't think, because they, they look small, but they're filled. They're filling. Filled. Yeah. Um, but yeah, throughout the night, I'm like, he'll bring me some, and I'm like, all right, I guess I'll have to That's eat this. so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's better than endless empanadas? Right? Nothing. <laughs> do they do a dessert one, too, or not? They do, but okay. uh, they don't currently have it. I would have paired the porter with a dessert one had they okay. had it here tonight. Yeah. Um, but the, what I have paired is we have the uh, their beef and potato. Okay. Um, it's like picadillo, so I'm going to pair the, the beef one with the porter okay. um, and see how that goes. And the, uh, the spicy chicken is going to be paired with the IPA. Okay. Uh, and then we have our uh, spinach and chicken empanada paired with the 210 ale. Nice. So where do you think we should start? Uh, let's start with the spinach and chicken. Okay, so we'll start with the spinach and chicken, and then we, it's paired with the 210 ale, correct? Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. It's so spicy. <laughs> so. It's a little hot, but it's so good. It actually washes that down quite nicely. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it really is perfect. Oh my god. Can I just, I'm just going to shove this in my mouth No, right do now. it, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So this is the chicken and spinach with the 210 ale. It's it's perfect. It's like, it's such a nice compliment. And the 210 is like a little bit lighter, so it doesn't overpower. Yeah, exactly. Because, I mean, the spinach and chicken, there's so much flavor in there. Yeah. It's not a spicy empanada, but you can tell they, they definitely add some, some spice in there. It's so good. My mouth is full right now, but it's so good. Okay. So, now... Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Do you want to do the beef one next? Let's do the beef. Let's just let's save spicy for last so yeah. that I can recover. Yeah. Yeah. So this is beef and potato, right? Mm -hmm. With the uh, porter. This reminds me of like an empanada that my grandmother would make. Exactly. Right? And that's what I love about them. I go places yeah. and I, I try empanadas and I'm like, oh, that's okay. You can call it an empanada. But yeah, but this is like, this is like got chunks of potato in it and a lot of beef and it's like exactly like my, yeah. I'm going to try it with the porter. Oh my gosh. It's so good. No, the really nice thing about this porter, you can taste a lot of the coffee, which I really love. And this one is actually the uh, the robusto. Okay. Um, but we do have the El Despierto, right. which is the uh, the coffee that we uh, collaborated with so Brown what am Coffee I Company. Then? Um, so in the uh, in the robusto, you get that coffee note from yeah. um, the roasted barley. Okay. Kind of mixed with some of that caramel and chocolate okay. malt. It gives it especially that coffee scent. Um, on the front end. Wow, it's so good. I've had this before. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, no, that that's my go-to beer when I'm here. Yeah. 
um, I'll drink it year round and I'll drink it in the summer and people are like, what's wrong with you? It's hot outside. I'm like, yeah. but this is so it's good. so good. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And it goes really nice with the beef, I think. Yeah, usually like barbecues, any sort of like, mm-hmm. you know, actual beef, red meats tend to pair really well yeah. with, a, with a porter and you know, steaks and porters. Like, oh my God. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Especially with this one, it adds a little bit of the of a sweeter note. Right. Um, but that's what I like about this porter too. It's it's not overly sweet. It's just like very well balanced porter. I love it. Perfect. It's I love it too. Here. Okay, so we're gonna do the we'll do the spicy one last. This is the chicken, the spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. This one I'm a little bit scared of because I've had it. It's not too spicy. It's not too spicy. Okay. Oh my God. It's so good. Maybe I lied. Maybe it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. But okay. <laughs> and then this one was the... IPA. Slippery IPA. Rock IPA. Okay. It's perfect. I think this would also pair really well with the, the fire pit wit. Uh, the citrus in that wit tends to cut through spice. So anytime I yeah. eat Thai food, stuff like that, I wash it down with wit. And okay. It's, it's nice. That's perfect. Actually, this cuts through it pretty nicely, though. The IPA does. <laughs> And it almost like brings out the sweetness in the IPA because it's yep. a little bit. I like that a lot. So, if people want to come and see you, Marisa, at the tap room, when do you guys open? Uh, we are open Monday through Friday from 5 okay. to 9. Perfect. And then Saturday regular hours are from 2 to 9. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, four days a week, um, okay. we're open. Wednesdays are the best nights to come because we do the $3 customer appreciation if awesome. they bring in their pint glass. Which uh, we've been doing so many pint glass giveaways that yeah, yeah, yeah. they're almost <laughs> everyone. How excited are you for the Luce throwdown? Extremely excited. So Hoppy Chulo has taken me out to uh, a Lucha Libre fight um, somewhere down, like in, in the South Side of San Antonio. Yeah, and it, it's they're hilarious. I didn't even know that those ha- like I thought this is like a special event that you had to plan. Like you yeah. could just go to the South Side and go. Yeah, to no, Lucha they they TNT uh, Productions. They they do like a bunch of. Uh, different events all awesome. over San Antonio, yeah. and they do just like regular matches, um, usually at least once a month. Um, so when they come to the brewery, do you guys have like a like a special changing room for them? Or yeah, they- we're actually going to um, transform our fermentation room into their dressing room. Are you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is for real though, right? Yeah, yeah, for real. Like, yeah. Because I mean, they're they're gonna have several outfit changes. Okay. Um, and then conveniently, we have a. Uh, the, those rising doors up in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they're going to they're going to come out through there um, and kind of come through like a tunnel. Oh my god! And, and you guys will meet like I guess set up their stage. Yeah, the yeah. Back. They actually they came out last week. They checked everything out. They're like our stage fits back here perfectly. Nice. So uh, five to seven during our Fiesta metal party, they will be fighting. Right That's there. exciting. <laughs> I'm Super really excited. excited to see how it turns out for a crowd that's not used to seeing Lucha Libre fights. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm most excited about. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm, I'm pins and needles. Perfectly fitting for our Fiesta Medal, too. Of course. We can't it, have a Lucha on our Fiesta Medal and, and not have the exactly, match. Exactly. Exactly. So what happens? Do you know what happens? Like, what does the winner get? Or, like, is it just, like, is it, like, WWE where they just... No, no. I mean, they do have, like, their own, uh, I guess, belts. Like, like a belt, yeah. Yeah. What are they called? We're wrestling. I honestly have no idea. <laughs> like a, a, a huge buckle that they get? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like a, you know, yeah. that thing that they wear. Yeah. Uh, they do have one. Um, I don't know if they'll be bringing it out since it's not like competition. It's yeah, more yeah, entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I did ask them if they were going to do like a Royal Rumble. And one of the uh, the wrestlers was here. And he was like, oh, please don't make me do another Royal Rumble. Oh, my God. <laughs> really it had this like four or five guys in the ring at one time yeah, yeah. Wow. And, the, and the one that i went to they actually like busted out chairs and everything like the chairs oh <laughs> the chairs that they use to sit people in are like dented in certain places what? Like, <laughs> they're really hitting each other really hitting each other with the chairs that is crazy <laughs> yeah like i thought i would think that it was all like just staged and they sign waivers i think ahead of time are you gonna be able to watch them practice you think 
Uh, I hope so. Yeah. They actually asked me, they were like, do you want to be our ring girl? And I was like, uh, What do I have to wear? Exactly. That's what, exactly. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I think I'll pass on that one. Yeah, yeah, Plus, yeah. I'm going to be way too busy serving beer here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is amazing and perfect. We love having you. Thank we, you so I much. I think we would love to have you on, just you by yourself at some point, and maybe do like a ladies, like, yeah. free, like, show would be awesome. I would love that, especially I've been seeing a lot of articles coming out and just yeah. about women in the brewing industry. Definitely. Uh, I love seeing that. It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marisa. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Perfect. That's it for another episode. I hope you have fucking enjoyed it. Do me a favor. Go to Twitter and Instagram and follow us at She's Crafty Pod. Go to our Facebook page, She's Crafty Podcast, and like that shit. Be sure to follow us there. Also, um, if you like funny blogs and you want to catch up on all your favorite She's Crafty episodes and you want to buy some fucking awesome and hilarious craft beer merchandise, go to our website, She's Crafty Podcast.com. Peace out, beer nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Well, we all experience we don't, a little We don't need vagina beers because there's Berliner Weisses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>